Hi, in this video I want to show you this ruler which I purchased on Amazon. This is a Fiskars ruler and it is a 12 inch ruler with plastic edge it says. Very nice. Hmm, okay. So, oh I see, here's the edge. I was like, where's the edge? Yeah, it's a plastic edge versus a metal edge, okay? So a lot of uh, older rulers, they have a metal edge here. This doesn't, this has a plastic edge. Um, I'm pushing on it and I don't think I can cut myself with it. So I think that's the intention maybe. Um, if you have a metal edge, maybe that could be bad. So fairly lightweight. It says plastic edge to hold straight line. It's solid wood. Uh, measurements in inches and centimeters. Limited lifetime warranty, it says. Cool, manufactured for Fiskars Brand Inc. Cool, Madison, Wisconsin. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna pan the camera down so you can get a closer look at it. We're gonna try it. We're just gonna see how well it works with paper and pencil. You know, if you wanna draw some straight lines, having a ruler is critical. So I'm gonna get some paper here. And let's go ahead and take this off. Let's see how hard it is to get off. Not too bad. This is nice if you're doing any graphing, like manual graphing. I do a lot of uh, mathematics, and if you want things to look a little bit better, it helps to have a ruler like this. So let's just, I'm gonna line it up with the top of the paper here. Okay, let me just line it up there roughly. It's pretty good. Right, that's much better than, than I could do with my hand. I have a really hard time drawing straight lines. So this is quite nice. So this is the y-axis, this will be the x-axis. And um, let's, uh, I don't know, let's just draw a simple, simple uh, graph here. Let's do this one here. So the ruler can't really help me draw that unless I drew a grid. We'll say this is the graph of y equals x squared, right? Pretty nice, right? And then you pick a point here. Maybe this point here is one comma one. Okay, and let's draw a line that it just touches. That line is called the tangent line, by the way. Tangent means just touches in Latin. And we can find the slope of that line by taking the derivative. So at one, just using some magic here, the slope here is m equals two. So the slope of the function is two at that point, just using some calculus. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this. I'm just messing around, just showing you, you can use the ruler to help you do some math. Uh, too much fun, but it's fairly lightweight. Um, lightweight, simple, effective. It's got that plastic edge. I use the plastic edge for the lines. I suppose you could use the other edge too. Whoops, I dropped my pencil. Oh, I have another one. Yeah, you can use the other one as well, so. Uh, notice what happens when you use the other one. It gets pencil mark on the ruler. Whereas if you use the plastic edge, it doesn't get on the ruler. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, maybe it's better to use the plastic edge. That way you don't get marks on your ruler. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters too much. Pretty happy with my purchase. It's a pretty nice ruler. It's got inches and it's got centimeters. Yeah, basic and simple. Also, it's got these holes. I guess you could, what you could do is if you have a three ring binder, you can put it in your binder because it has these holes. So I think that's pretty cool too. So yeah, I like it and I'm happy with my purchase. I think if you're looking for just a regular ruler, this is a great choice. Good luck.